Hello everybody, welcome to the uh, next instalment. In this one I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial information about the BYD connected services and the SIM card that's inside the car. So as you know BYDs come uh, fitted with an eSIM or a physical SIM in some models which gives you access to connected services inside the car. Basically the brain that keeps your car connected to the, connected to the internet. Basically it's not a lot of data, one gig at most. So what I do to navigate through that is I, as you can see, I'm not on, I've got my cellular data enabled, but I'm not on any hotspot. I've got my own portable Wi-Fi inside the car. This is basically just a cheap 4G router that you can buy online through Amazon, Ergos, stuff like that. I've got my own SIM card in that, and I use that for my car's connected services through a wireless network, which you can do at home. You can connect it to your home network, and you can do everything you need to, but that enables me to do it on the move. So what it gives you is uh, real-time navigation and traffic updates through the sat-nav, remote control access to the car from the app, which you can do your unlocking of your windows, your doors, turn on your lights, beep your horn, that sort of thing. Uh, over the air updates, which is over here in your settings version, and when you click upgrade, that then uses your SIM card or your wireless network if you're not if you're connected to one, but if not, it will use your eSIM to connect to BYD servers to check if there's a version update for you. Um, it will also send emergency uh, or diagnostic help and data if needed to BYD using the emergency uh, button up above the wing mirror. Uh, what else does it do, sorry? It does vary by nation. So in Europe, it will follow the GDPR. So with all the skirmongering behind China gathering data, don't be concerned. They do have to comply with our GDPR and it's very highly regulated. China, not so much. It stays on their local service because they can do with what they want, <laughs> I believe. Uh, so over here in, Euro in Europe and the UK, it does have to comply with GDPR, so your data is secure. But try not to keep that much stored on the vehicle if you can help it. Uh, all your data, like I said, is encrypted, and that then keeps your information safe. So even though you don't see it, the SIM is basically the heart of your car, and its connected services are essential to the car keeping running as it should be. Without it, you wouldn't be able to use your sat-nav, stuff like that. So it is essential. Like I said, I use one of these. So I don't have to rely on BYD's very limited data allowance. So, again, by doing so, you'll also keep your car running as it needed, like I've just said. So, keep your car smart, keep it running, keep it safe, and always online. Thank you. I know it's not the most informative video, but if you need any more information, I can go into further detail, but I didn't want to uh, keep this going for 10, 12, 15 minutes. So any questions, please comment below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks.